presented at three and a half minutes. They did their turn and talk. Then at the decision at five minutes, 30 seconds, she had the two students share. And then the thing I noticed is that there's, they went into salt from there. Mm -hmm. And so the one small thing that I'm like, oh, this is the thing you want to target is this focus here, ask the discussion question. And so when you get feedback That's from me, perfect. yeah, it was for yours too. When you get feedback from me, it should be with the agenda so you can see what's the part you need to target. And so we're going to focus on the discussion question because that actually is the thing that's going to help us link the, um, the representation to the solution. We don't want solve to be this other thing that they like reinvent the wheel and do wacky things. We want it to be like, what's the push they need to understand their own representations so that when they solve, they're making the right meaning from it. So I'm going to show you If you want to see what it looks like to let students struggle, like this is it. <laughs> <You're> <laughs> my face. <laughs> She's not tutoring anyone, and they don't expect her to. I'll get in there because I have a student that's in the bag. Hi,
small push. Why did you do that? Because of the story. Mm-hmm. But the you chose a great first um, representation, right? The eight separate sets of two thirds. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and just push her to link it back to the so story because in the story, it said she drank two thirds every day for eight days, mm-hmm. just to help them process. Um, You want to like purposely choose the two to three kids that you're like these are the this is the right sequence of representations and then come in with a discussion question mm-hmm. so in something like that it could be if labeling is a weak spot it could be how does this representation show where each day is and where the water each day is something to just help them like look at mm-hmm. representations that have it so they can be like yeah she wrote eight days or she however they annotated it so we might have to do the question at the end so the discussion question should come in so there's another one like so after the two to three students share mm-hmm. then teacher asks a specific discussion question and it could be what's the same or what's different it could be how do they use labels to connect it to the story We'll talk about, I think there are different discussion questions you'd want for the work we're going to do with unlike denominators, but something to draw attention to the thing that you think will will help them make the jump. Um, and then we'll, we'll focus on like the rest of it down the road. I think it's just about choosing one small thing to set an intention around and focus there, because I think that's what most of us need. Cool. Can I get some shout outs for Ms. Durio, please? Yes. <laughs> um, I just, I don't know, I'm really impressed with how much you just, you were just a facilitator. Like, they clearly knew all of the routines. They, like, took charge of their learning. Um, I, I loved, like, how it's clear how much of a classroom culture you have because, like, how willing they were to build mm-hmm. um, and agree, disagree. And I don't know, it was, it was really great. Yeah, and I like um, seeing the kids excited about their work. Mm-hmm. Like they were excited to get up and go and talk mm-hmm. to um, their partners about what they wrote down in their paper. So that was good to see. And also, I can No, your answer is wrong. Let me I love it though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But when that work goes up, they're all just like, "Yeah, I did that." Like they're they're mm-hmm. engaging with it. They're not like she didn't call on me. So I'm gonna check out. Really exciting. No, like the nonverbals when they do that stuff. And sometimes I'm looking for this, like, y'all do that thing y'all do in ELA. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, thank you. So now we're going to switch to thinking about addition and subtraction of fractions with unlike denominators. So I didn't know if Lily would be here. I'll do her part of the work. I'll go grab some poster paper for us to do some posters. The reading is from, do y'all have that color copy that Smosh handed out already? Yeah. Mm-hmm. This is the best professional development reading. It's, um, we've read stuff in the in past years from it. Mm-hmm. It's just the go-to, it's the top resource used for math education programs. And the reading on fractions operations is really dense and really good. And I figured the way we might wanna do this is to have each person take just one section and own it and own the presentation of it and then we can learn from each other. So I'm gonna set the clock for 12 minutes and um, I'm gonna turn this off for now.